Take a Hello everyone, Austin here, and welcome back to another Survivor Let's Play episode. And today we are going to be showing you guys a few things I've been doing while I've been gone. So, first off, before we actually go over there, I'll show you that contraption that you saw for a glimpse. Uh, I would like to apologize for no videos for a few days. Uh, so I'm going to go off the actual days that I record. If you remember, I record a day early so you can do the little mini math type stuff but Wednesday uh, I do something every Wednesday as you, a lot of you may know and it's hard for me to record so I normally either have to record right when I get home and can't do anything else or I have to just you know uh, record after it which normally doesn't give me much time to do everything No, I have to go to bed really late well I got back and I had possibly the worst acid reflex I almost showed you guys the complete thing the worst acid reflex I think I've ever had before. It was terrible. I mean, I nearly puked twice trying to brush my teeth. That's how bad it was. And brushing teeth is normally really bad with acid reflex. But that, not. Nah, I, I never had almost puke. And actually go through the motion and get lucky enough not to. But it was pretty torturous. And the next day, uh, it was like a little side effect of it, kind of. Because it was so bad, I still felt a little quizzy for the whole day, so I really just didn't feel like recording. And besides, I had to study for a Spanish presentation that I didn't have to go the first day, which was a good thing, because I was like a day behind, meaning I, I brought the book textbook home, but not the binder, so I could only learn a fifth of the words I needed for the Spanish presentation. And with that extra day, I got a 20 out of 20, 100%, beautiful, easy, done, all good, and we are happy to be done. So yeah, a quick mini story, I was playing some survival games, actually one of my fans caught me. I don't chat something, I don't remember exactly, but sup, I'm going to shout you out for finding me. You're, I believe, the second fan, the first fan to find me in says G, the second fan to actually find me in a game. First one was on the Hive, how, I don't know, but, because I don't play on the Hive that much. But either way, uh... Yeah, so I basically, I guess they're like restarting the servers or something, and we got booted, I was playing on Demon's Breeze, we got booted to, um, what was it? We got booted to the deathmatch, that's what it was. There was probably at least half the game still left. When they t put it on deathmatch, I'm just like, oh boy, this will be fun. So I was just like, I'm going to target the strong people, try to get them out. I'm, I'm only full leather, so I look pretty weak, so hopefully people won't go after me. So I go in this battle with full leather, a uh, stone sword, and I think a bow. And I'm able, basically every type of kill I almost got to the last few people was clean up because everyone was so injured for fighting over it, because it was like a... 12 man free for all because there's actually no teams till the very end and it was insane I killed this guy got half iron armor I think it was uh, leggings and actually I think it was just leggings no yeah no it was leggings in a chest plate so basically I was pretty well set I killed someone else and got full iron and I killed a few noobs who had nothing to get them out of the way because they just kept running around it ended up being me versus a team who were okay stacked, thank goodness they weren't full iron or anything because no one had time to even get all that stuff before deathmatch happened. But, yeah, so, I had a fight, I clean I killed the one one guy who was very aggressive. I waited for a while, uh, trying to play this guy out so I could regenerate, and I went full in. And it was very close because he let me on fire, he got struck by lightning, and we ended up both being on fire. And I got the last hit by jumping into the little pool in the middle of Demon's Breeze. So, with that said, I just wanted to bring up a tiny little subject. By the way, this episode, I'm not accomplishing anything. I'm planning just to talk about fun stuff because I just want to be able to do something like I do on survival games without having to record survival games because I'm not good at that yet. Hopefully one day I'll be really good and can get games pretty easy. But at the moment, nah. Just, just nah. <laughs> but either way, ah. Uh, Let's see, what do we have to talk about? Let me make sure, okay, my audacity is indeed recording. We are good to go. Okay, so. Elgato. If you guys are you Xbox YouTubers, um, or like to record Xbox things, maybe not a YouTuber, just, I don't know what you 
not be a YouTuber and have an Elgato for it, but if you don't know what Elgato, uh, Elgato is, it's just one of the best uh, Xbox game recorder type thingy bobbers. Because as you guys know, we have programs on the computer, but on Xbox you don't. So, yeah, I got that from my brother for Christmas, even though he doesn't use it. I guess it doesn't like work or something. I'm pretty sure he just doesn't know how to use it. But, either way. So, yeah. I wish that they had something like that for PC or Minecraft. Because, as you guys know, recording with Fraps or Dextor or whatever... For the most part, it does cause you a tiny bit more lag, and you normally just don't play as good. And something like that, I would love to have that clip, but of course I couldn't record it, and I didn't plan to record. I would love to have something like that. Go How? Okay, I'll have to fix that, because OCD, that just looks terrible, but yeah, so... That is that. I wish they had something like that for the computer. But before we go to this contraption over there, which as you can see, the villagers, cop call. I got a new sword, Sharpness IV Looting 3. Uh, because of all the breeding on cows, I've been getting a lot of level 30s and stuff. And can we smack this guy? Kaboom! No! How did you not go in there? You lucky good darn cow. Oh, yeah, you're screwed. You're in. Okay, and you're about to go in, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Ha ha! Okay, so here's this crazy contraption. So, before I get started, there's two things I need to say. For First off, I did not cheat. I did not spawn villagers in. I used the golden apple, and I actually made a bunch of them. And I did the little process where you throw splash potions of weakness, and then the golden apple, and make villagers that way. It took me quite a while to get that all done. And then it took me probably a long, long time to figure out how to breed them. So let me show you the pro the process. So first off, I just made a little cage and had like a floating door room. And then I, I just built a lot of stuff. I ended up with this. This actually was breeding them okay, but I realized it was not infinite breeding. So knowing me, I searched YouTube. Found this guy's video who was actually tutorialing about how to get the unlimited items from Emerald trade things. Which is why I have this going because I'm planning to build something like that. And his thing, this is his design, or what he built, and he gave me a link to Tangle Tech, which of course I already know Tangle Tech, because it's one of the geniuses of Minecraft. But I watched his video, and I basically built in the creative world, and then I built it over here. Took me a while, because I kept missing a few blocks. These two blocks here, actually are very important, I don't know why, but I forgot them, and it was not working, so I did that. And so I built this, and then I actually got one of these pipe things going. So I can actually put these villagers through there when there's enough of them. Because it's getting really annoying having Iron Golem as far. I nearly died twice so far. And I think that's why my armor is so beat up because of Iron Golems. Because they're so powerful. Oh my gosh. Because I mean, the very first time I wasn't expecting it. I was like at one and a half hearts. The guy, the Iron Golem hit me out there. And I landed on the ground with that many hearts. I'm just like, yeah, that's... Beware of every single Iron Golem we find. But, yeah, so we got basically an unlimited uh, thingy going here. And we also got a lot of iron from killing all those Iron Golem farms. Let's see. And we got some roses. So I'm going to assume we, I mean, Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. When did it actually become a Poppy? That would be a good uh, trivia. Whoops. What, like, what update did the rose become the Poppy? Okay, so let's actually go check in here. And let's see what, also as you guys can tell, I have crazy, I put a bunch of cows in here actually, but the glitching of them going through the walls when I log in, and them escaping and stuff ended up being a lot less than it was, but here we are. So this is the villagers, and I think we have enough villagers now that I'm actually going, wait, is it going to set off the plate? I don't think so, but just to make sure. I'm gonna wait till it becomes- nah, it's good. Okay, so this level- lever- oh my. Oh my, that's not good. That's not good, I broke it. I broke it, guys, I broke- okay, it's all good now. <laughs> it's all good. We're good, we're good. Stuff like this is so fresh. Oh god, oh. I was just like, nah, so... I don't know if anyone has good- I know that guy had crappy stuff. I should've gave him a good thing, but, you know, I'm not smart that way. 
So let's see, is there any good trades? No. Eh. Uh, no. Definitely no. And how about you? Can I, can I like see you? That would be awesome if you'd let me click on you. And you're basically that farm, so no. No, 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 but you guys aren't any good trades today. Should we actually, I think we should harvest all this uh, sugar cans here. But yeah, so um, I do apologize for no videos. Uh, it's probably a dumb, it's definitely a dumb thing to be doing. Especially when I'm this close to 1k because because of these videos, all I've done is lost two subscribers since the highest subscriber rate I was at. Subscriber rate, I'm just going to go along with that. Uh, I had 181 subscribers, I believe, and I am now at the recording time of this at 979. I lost, I lost a lot today, I don't know. I just don't know. I put up, but I need. I definitely need to get the videos back going. So, yeah. So I think that will be in the thumbnail of the video. This contraption thingy. So I'm gonna start having them float to the top. I don't think I'm gonna actually do anything with them at that time. But once I get enough, I'll start working on trying to get a semi-auto of uh, 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 whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're called, but let's go look for some Endermen, shall we? Endermen, I'm not super strong in zombies anymore, I can't take them out in one crit. It's probably close to that, oh my goodness, please no. Just, just don't spite, why? What do you guys have against me? I just want Endermans, because I'm no doubt going to be getting Ender Pearls with looting three. Hello, you're, you're stacked. You're like MCSG stacked, dude. Even though I'm a lot more stacked than you, whatever. Wow, that was like right next to my face. What is up? Actually, now that I think of it, we are really close to getting enough Ender Pearls. Because I've been finding a lot more... I kill a lot of Endermen while looking for the uh, zombie villagers. Okay, obviously stuff doesn't despawn from over here because that experience has been there for probably about 200 Minecraft days or something because... I leave Minecraft running so those uh, villagers can breed. So yeah. This world has gone through a lot of days. Oh! <sighs> they get away. Oh, the MCSG tree boosting get away from that creeper. Amazing. Sorry that I'm just running straight. I'm kind of scratching my eye. And now I'm going to get a drink of Mountain Dews. And yes, I'm sponsored by Mountain Dew. Yeah, not really. I wish I was. Actually, I don't because because of Acid Reflex, I already assumed a while back that it could have been from soda. I know soda doesn't help. That was pretty obvious. But holy crap, you guys and your aimbot craziness. My goodness gracious. Hello, spider. Can you, like, not... And you're like, I don't like spiders, and I don't means I don't like you. But could you please stay away? Can you please not shoot me, skeletons? Yeah, that would be a fantastic. Very, very fantastic. But actually, once I run out of this Mountain Dew, that was a baby built zombie, I'm pretty sure. I am actually going to go on a water-only diet with some Gatorade, because I don't want to drink water at school. Uh, but I'm gonna go on a water only diet or try my best to mostly strict no soda maybe some tea every once in a while but yeah so I'm gonna do it for at least a month and see if it really does help or not because I know I did it for like a week and it didn't really seem to help me that much but you know maybe hey 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 I normally use you but whatever I don't need you now oh my can you like Ah! My goodness, the spider was knocking the creeper at me. That is a little bit scary. Yeah, of course I say I'm finding more Endermen and I'm having the worst of luck. I jinx myself. Fantastic. Fan. Freaking tastic. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna keep commentating, hopefully, finding Endermen. 
Because that should give us a good amount. If it doesn't drop any pearls at all, I'm going to be pretty darn mad. Looting three, I'm pretty sure that means at least an ender pearl for every enderman and maybe two and possibly three. I don't know what the max is. The funny part is, in probably a while from now, we will have unlimited ender pearls and limited enchantments. It's going to be amazing. But of course, we gotta get to the ends first. Cause I was just like, why don't I just go? Oh yeah, I can't make it. Cause I can't get to the end. This is seriously, I haven't actually really went to the end much. This is the first uh, world that I've actually had this much trouble trying to get into the end. Normally, when I find the end portal, what the crap? What is this? What the bah? Okay, I I'm gonna look up on Minecraft Wiki spiders and see what's going on, cause I know they get speed, but I've never seen them get invisibility before. What in the world? Yeah. Bio that stuff. Let's let's just act like that never happened and hope. I thought the his eyes were like a moving flower. That's why I turned around and was like, what is that? And I, I'm just like, oh my goodness gracious, please not, please, just, p please not, guys. I mean, come on, I don't want an invisible spot. That would be the worst thing in real life. I mean, it'd be okay not to see the spiders, but to, oh gosh, to, you know, actually find out there's a spider there but you can't see it that would be even worse than just seeing a spider but most likely you won't even know so you'd be all good and dandy okay enderman you you can show up any day oh my goodness that was i don't think there's ever a skeleton that gets not close to making a shot i'm pretty sure it's either close or it's a hit because if it's not that, then they normally don't shoot. Because they know it's not possible to hit you from that distance. Wow, the way you go. I don't know. Also, we are reading Romeo and Juliet. Because everyone knows that's always required in school. I don't know why. But it is Shakespeare William Shakespeare. You make us have to read books. <laughs> You made every s oh my goodness! Are you gonna hit me? There's a lot of golden, I golden armor on. Where the heck is and I've ran around this area so many times and still not found an Enderman. I made this scout this sword just for you, Enderman. Why are you doing this? I can kill you easier now. How much attack does this do? Twelve. That's like almost twice the amount I normally does. That's pretty insane. Oh my. I just jumped over that spider. That is what you call pro strats in Minecraft. UHC skill. You would never want to do that in UHC, but it'd be pretty darn cool to do it. Whatever. I don't know how I did that. I feel like trying it again. Because, you know, there's no Enderman. Anywhere, okay, let's see if we can jump over a spider. This should be fantastic. This should indeed be fantastic. Can you, like, stay away? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I need to find a spider that's running straight at me. And I'm gonna jump over him. Why? Because I can. Okay, let's go back. I know, let's just do it with one of these spiders over here. Okay, dokie, here we go. Here we go. Boom! That didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Boom, boom, boom. Woo, I guess that kind of counts. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. That wasn't too close. I guess my theory is broken. So, I was actually thinking of this random series about doing. I would definitely have to wait until I got more subs because I just. the comments wouldn't happen enough. But I was thinking of doing something like Mythbusters for Minecraft. Like testing thing theories such as 
maybe click if the sword can be as swing as fast as you click or something. I don't think it can, but it might. I don't know. But that, like the 360 chicken, maybe figure out what, how likely it is not to give its little effect or stuff. I don't know. Okay. So I think the last parts we're going to do for this video. First, we're going to check out the little mob spawning area I have down here. See if it has any mobs. Or then maybe go look for some wither skeletons since we have looting three now. And possibly get the stuffs. There's no one in here. Great. Just fantastic. I wasn't even down here, so. Can I eat in time? I can. I'm pro. We be pro. We be pro, we be pro, we be pro ski. I still need to make another base. I need to make a lot of things. That's why I chose not to actually quit the Let's Play. Because I was just like, you know what? I have so much stuff I can build that it's just, yeah. I still, I remember the old days. The days where I couldn't go on another without insane lag. Yeah, those were the days. Cough, cough, my old computer. Okie dokie, so let's look for them uh, with the skeletons. We are, yeah, we're on hard. I mean, we should be because, you know, uh, we just fought a bunch of mobs, but yeah. I hear a gas, but that's not really what I want. I would like to find a way to skeleton. If possible. I mean, if not possible, that's okay, but... I mean, it'd be my kind if you'd show me a one or two. Because, you know, maybe we'll fight the wither before the ender dragon, because it seems like it's just... The ender dragon's gonna take forever. But, I mean, the getting wither skulls is pretty dang hard as well. So, I don't know. I don't really... I probably should light the area up, meaning... Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Oh, I got hit. Oh, I got hit. Oh, I got hit. I missed. Okay, so we got... Oh, I forgot I had a clock on me. Hee <laughs> hee. Chuck you crap out, I don't want you. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this looting so I just need to get an unbreaking thing for this so I probably have an unbreaking book actually. Maybe we'll go check on that when we get back, I don't know. Eh, that was that's good enough. I mean I just wanted to find and kill some wither skeletons and see if I could get super luck going. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen though, so let's just return before we actually get lost. And yeah. Cause you know, talking and stuff. Yeah, boy. So, I hope you guys did enjoy my little random spout of commentary. Good commentary practice, I guess, since we didn't really accomplish anything this episode. Except figure out the invisible spiders exist. That's an accomplishment, right? I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, I, guess, it, I guess it is. I'm, I'm not completely sure. So let's actually go to that scatter farm over here. And we will check to see if we have an unbreaking book. If we do, maybe we can put it on the sword. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Almost, but not. Just not close enough. Okay. So. All I have to say to you guys is I'm completely glad this week is over. It's been rather torture. Because we've had a QBA or a DBQ. DBQ, I don't know why. I caught anything else but we've had a dbq and world history and it sucks and i don't like it and i wish it didn't we do not have a breaking and i wish it didn't exist because it's a piece of crap and it's really terrible and we're supposed to do the rough draft this weekend this is like a seven paragraph and i'm just like nah i'm gonna try to do as much of it as i can to, like the mo the morning of school, like during when you eat breakfast or whatnot, I'm gonna try to do as much of it as I can then. I don't know what my teacher thinks, but I don't know if she understands that some of us maybe don't have a life, but like to have our weekend to ourselves, like me. 
I mean, I don't have much of a- this is my only life, really, is YouTube. Other than that, I'm pretty much just a boring old person. But, yeah, so. Either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did a like, it's greatly appreciated. It really gives me the motivation to continue YouTubes and stuff, because, you know, I haven't hit that 1K subscribers yet. Also, I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, that would be mighty, mighty kind of you, if you would, because, you know, they make you guys Demi Shoshima and that much closer to getting that first 1k subscribers and don't forget to comment down below what you guys think of stuffs and I will see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>